Hello YouTubers, I got some more stuff to show you guys today, despite of what happened last week, which I, that video will be uploaded before, well, it's going to be a mass upload, kind of a premiere thing, but I got another PhD here, this one is a different one from the one you saw in the other video, what happened with that one, quick rundown, the main power fuse decided to blow after a couple hours, but that didn't stop me from getting another one because it sounded so good I had to get another one. I hope that was just a one-off thing. So I'm going to be extra careful with this one. Even though I was careful with that other one, I just decided to act up. Check that out. It's a little blue LED on the board. Now I'll try to stick some photos of what it looks like in here because I did take the I did open the top on that other one it's very minimal inside because honestly you can't see through this but not only that I got this but the the day after the other one decided to act up these two finally arrived yep I got an AA120 mixer six channels or I should say six inputs very professional now this is not a PHG. Don't get confused with this one. This one, the PHG's got a little button on there. Press the whole diagnostics. That's what that stands for. We got a good old classic series. Those of you, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these. It's actually not a bad amp. In fact, the metal on this one is like thick. This thing's a tank. And this one's just straight up heavy. Very heavy. Heavier than a Toa BG120 or I should say 1120 those of you that may correct me now the reason I got these was A check that out you got NASA stickers on them yes these were a property of a NASA facility in North Carolina that it was like a training facility based on my research, and I, w I found an article, which I'll happily put that in the description if you guys are curious about that kind of stuff. But these came from the same facility, honestly. These two were separate, separate transactions. I wanted them both because, A, they were extremely cheap, but also, they came from the same place. Not only that, but there's some outlines on the top here. I don't know if you can see the little circle here. But this used to sit directly on top of this back when it was in service. At the, that whatever NASA facility it was, some training facility. So it's kind of still the same. and It, it basically just migrated all the way here to Arizona because that's where I live. And it lives in here now, except now with a PhD sitting on top of it top of the classic looks like kind of like a pyramid kind of like what's going on here now those of you wondering yes these are all on they're all hooked up and split off using this headphone amplifier with the volume set accordingly now you guys may accuse you guys probably gonna be accusing me you probably your setup probably caused the fuse to blow. No, I had a different setup at the time. This I just recently put together, like literally like a few days ago. Reorganized this. Now what's going on here? This amp's not in use. It's not even hooked up. And this one's not hooked up. But this one's still hooked up. But this one feeds, feeds these. Not the horn here. This horn's just sitting up here. Not stalled yet, but if these are just eight ohm speakers, so I'm just using the eight ohm tap off of this one, and they're all connected to that power bar here that connects back to these to this outlet. Also using an appropriate size extension cord and on another circuit because this room has an arc fault breaker, and sometimes those arc fault breakers can get in the way of things. Like, see these ones here, they're on. This circuit, which is on our fault breaker, these are on a separate circuit. Now, I haven't had one of these strip the breaker yet, and I don't want to find out one day, so that's why I do it like that. Now, what's going on here? We got this that feeds this, this APF15T horn. This is the one from the porch, so as you that are wondering. And this 
feeds these two using 6 watts. And this feeds these two here. The speaker for Metro Center. 6 and 6. So we're not pulling too much power off of these. And I don't know. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the push to hold diagnostics and just drop the paper clip. Let's get it. So there's this little hole here. Plays a tone. So yeah. That's that's the future of these amplifiers. This is making those predictions here. Now they do make a 400 watt model of this apparently, and I would love to get one of these one day at the 400 watt version. That's like triple the power that this one puts out, and I'm sure that thing is extra bloody heavy. Now I don't have any paging hooked up. We'll do that a whole. That'll be a whole nother video. Because obviously I don't want to. I want to take it easy on this blue LED. Now the only thing, and this I found this. I found out after the fact with this one here. After I ordered this one. Is 100 volts. It puts out 100 volts. I don't know if I said that already, but it puts out 100 volts, which makes it compatible with 100 volt, 100 volt speakers and horns from overseas. This will work with that. It has a 100 volt tap in the back. I'm only just using the 70 for right now, but those because I know I get tons of requests about Redback speakers and horns, which is an Australian brand. Those will work with this. At full power with no problems out here. The only reason I've never gotten them was because that factor, but also the shipping and the price is kind of too high for me right now. So, yeah, we'll play a song here just with these three. Now I'm gonna do one at a time, so I have this one turned down. This one has a master control, so I'm using input six. I just turned that one wide open, and then this is the master control that controls these six inputs. This one's just input two, which they call it, they, instead of auxiliary input, they call it sum. I don't know why, but it's a whole different terminology that they went <laughs> with. Power button's still the same like this one. This one uses a neon indicator switch, just like a old, like a very one of those power bar switches on the cheapy power strips. So yeah, I'm we'll playing music. We're going to start with the AA30 PhD. I picked a song that was a little blink happy for the signal. Sound really good on these ones. And then I'm going to turn this one up. And these lights should blink at the same time. If the camera will pick them up at the same time because of the refresh rate. Now the Bogan does not have any of that. It's classic. It's basic. So... Turn the bogan up, but you see, you need to. When we travel to the island, we walk for one of the real ones. The real is to try to rest one of the last Oh, yeah. Very blink happy. I'm all connected in the back. Seizing RCA. Volume's all fixed on this with all the outputs used. And it all comes from over here. That's where the I made them. We'll turn these other ones down. I'll leave. It sounds really good. I bet the 400 watt sounds just as good too.
So yeah, that sounds really good. Kind of said I'm gonna keep it easy with this one, because there, because I, like the board in there, it's very all micro size components. There's a lot of micro size components in there, but one day we're gonna hook this piece of old hardware here, as I'll call it, old hardware, old equipment, to modern equipment such as this. Now theoretically. This is time period correct with this because I'm I think they made these in the 2000s. I don't I don't know the exact year and the U the UTI one Interface and I think they made these in nine. I think these are popular in the 90s and the early 2000s In some bogan installations, but this one's from 2015 and I believe this is from 2007 because Yeah, I've done some research at this and I'm not sure when this Radio Shack was made, but also back when Radio Shack was a store to go to, miss those days. Yeah, it's interesting. Probably the probably the first one on YouTube to show you guys this because I don't because I see these short demonstrational videos, but they're very short, and I know those are not enough for those of you that are looking for this kind of stuff or just curious about it, like I am. So, just kind of like, just want to give you a quick rundown. Not much to the back, which honestly, I've showed that at the other video, which I'll, like I said, post it on there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video here of this interesting multi setup here. Got kind of double pyramids going on here. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. Spending more videos to come.